What's up everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on December 31st, 2021. As usual, I'm going to start off with the focus on figures that are available right now. Now, the LA Comic Con exclusive figures that you see here, of course, are shared with Hot Topic. That does include Two-Face based on Batman the Animated Series. And then with Doppelganger Spider-Man, they have a metallic variant and a non-metallic variant. Now, I think the metallic variant is only available on the website and it is currently sold out. There's a chance that it may restock. I mean, Hot Topic does tend to restock their exclusives, so I would just keep checking the website if you have missed that one thus far. As far as the other two, same thing, you know, just keep checking the website for their availability. I actually think both the metallic and the non-metallic variant of Doppelganger Spider-Man both look pretty good in their own way. Uh, also with Hot Topic, they have the Glow in the Dark Tamaki, which is starting to show up in stores. Not sure if it's been on the website just yet, but you, of course you can check the website for it. And I definitely want to hear from people, what do you think about the series Fire Force? I don't feel like I've seen many people say much about it. I did watch the first couple of episodes. It was kind of interesting. I just don't know if I'm going to go back to it though and continue to watch it. So like I said, you know, let me know your opinions about that particular series. Now with Box Lunch, they do have the lounging Inosuke figure, which I don't think is available um, online at the time of this recording. But if you have a Box Lunch in your area, you may come across it. As a matter of fact, Box Lunch in store, they tend to have pretty good stock of their exclusives. So again, if you have a store in your area, do make sure you check for that. And another exclusive you can check for with Box Lunch is Winnie the Pooh in pajamas as well. Now with Funko.com, they actually still have the soda that you see here available. And this is the Toucan, which is the mascot for SDCC, San Diego Comic-Con. And it does have a flock chase. I'm really amazed that this one has not sold out yet. It's not like um, a massive number or anything that's available. So uh, maybe it's on its way to selling out pretty soon. You know, we'll see here. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in that particular soda, like I said, at the time of this recording, it is still available on Funko.com. Now, a couple of viewers did point out me, point, point this out to me from the last Funko News that um, this Clark Griswold that you see here is an FYE exclusive that actually is already available in store. So you can be on the lookout for that and um, you can check the website as well. And you might want to check to see some previous FYE exclusives. There might be some on there that might surprise you. Now with Target, they are getting the WandaVision Mini Moments, and the first of these is starting to show up in store. So if you're interested in that particular series, do be on the lookout for that at Target. Best Buy, we don't see a lot of exclusives with them, but their latest one, Barry Sanders, is available right now, and that does include on the website. Now I have the diecast Wonder Woman here, um, but she actually did sell out. She didn't sell out right away. It did take a little while, but uh, yeah, the diecast Wonder Woman sold out. She's still listed on the site though, along with the other diecast figures, or at least two of the other diecast figures. Um, that does exclude Captain America. His is not listed, um, but the diecast figures, it seems like they may possibly get a restock because it does say notify me for them. So if you have an interest in those, you can of course go to that and you know, I'll go to the website, you know, click on notify me put in your email address or just kind of keep your ears open for social media basically keep a lookout um, if you're interested in those particular diecast figures and you don't have them already I do want to also point out that Funko.com now has beanies available for sale. They have the two that you see pictured here, and then they also have this one, which I think looks pretty cool, featuring the child or Grogu or Baby Yoda, whatever you want to call him. Um, I think that's a pretty nice looking beanie there, and um, all three of the beanies that I just showed you, those are available right now. Now, so a couple of more exclusives that are available, at least in store, maybe not necessarily online, but you could definitely check in store for these, are the Box Lunch exclusive Tiana, of course, from the you know Princess and the Frog. Uh, also, the Hot Topic exclusive Diamond Ariel and the Hot Topic exclusive Kakashi as well, which is, um, you know, I don't follow Naruto, but that is a pretty cool looking figure, I must say there. So again, look for those in store if you do not see them online. Now, if you have some pre-orders in with Target, they're sending out emails again. They kind of do this some um, somewhat regularly now um, to basically let you know that some figures are being delayed and you have to approve those delays or they're going to cancel your order. So especially if you have in a pre-order for something like the glow in the dark hobgoblin with pop tea that you see here. Make sure you check your emails. I'm sure some people would be upset if their pre-orders get canceled. So just make sure that you check those emails on a regular basis to see if they're asking for you to approve a delay. 
Squice from My Hero Academia had been rumored to be on the way with a Chase variant and that rumor has panned out to be true. Um, right now I don't know which US retailer is going to get this figure. Of course when I learn more about this release I will let you know. Now with Target, they do have the exclusive Stardust Dragon, which is starting to show up in some locations. Um, he's not currently available on the website though. The Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, that is a Hot Topic exclusive that is starting to show up in stores. And I'm not sure if he's on the website. I didn't get a chance to check for that. Um, but you can check the website for these particular figures to see if they um, stock online. If not, like I said, check for them in store. I don't know if they're widespread just yet. So you might have to be a little bit patient to wait for them to reach your area. Now, bam, Books A Million has this exclusive Godzilla vs. Kong 3-pack that's already showing up in stores. These are three common figures put together, but if you don't have these in your collection already, you might want to consider picking up this 3-pack if you come across it. And, of course, it does include Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, and Kong. Again, these are just three commons that are basically boxed together in this 3-pack. Now, at Funko HQ... They have actually already had the Silent Swordsman from Yu-Gi-Oh. This is going to be a Funko.com exclusive. So this does make it seem like this figure should be available on Funko.com very soon. Maybe in the next week or so. So um, just be on your toes if you are interested in that particular figure. Now, I did share this before, but this is a better look at the DC Holiday 4-pack, which is a Walmart exclusive here in the U.S., and it is available in some Walmarts. Um, I just wanted to make sure I gave you this better look, though, at the color change there on Batman. That's the only difference. Other than that, I mean, these are basically the previously released commons put together. But yeah, they did change up the color scheme for Batman, which I think is cool. I, I think if they're going to do a three pack or a four pack. Sometimes it is nice to do a, something a little bit different to set it apart. It's like years ago when they did um, the Star Wars four packs. I believe it was with Costco and they actually had like some glow in the dark um, detailing going on. I like when Funko does that. Just mix it up a little bit. At least I think it's cool. But uh, yeah, this is available at some Walmarts. Um, it might be kind of tough to track down in some areas, though, just to be honest. Now you see here with. Halo's 20th anniversary. They do have this 20th anniversary Master Chief. Um, this is actually available on the Xbox Gear Shop. Um, so you do have to go to that particular website if you're interested in this. And of course, they do have a bundle deal if you want to get a mug and a keychain along with it. Um, and this is up for an April 29th release. That is when it, it should ship out. Now, I've said this before, if you are interested in Pop Asia exclusives, there are some smaller retailers that actually do have them available. You just may pay, you know, more, definitely more than the um, average price of a Funko Pop for them. And you might want to compare prices even to see which um, retailer you want to go with. And also, you know, kind of get a feel for the customer service with these companies as well. You know, what their reputation is like. Now, um, I know that Spastic Collectibles does have some Pop Asia exclusives that are listed right now. Now, with the Guan Yu figure, I think that's how you say the name there. They're actually is a chase variant and that chase variant appear, appears to be you know just black and white or grayscale basically i'm not sure if there's any other difference going on with that particular figure but uh, yeah if you're into pop asian figures like i said just kind of look around and you usually can track down the ones that you are interested in just be prepared to pay you know sometimes a hefty price for them now, the flocked Tally figure, of course, Tally from South Park, that is an Amazon exclusive here in the U.S. But if you're outside of the U.S., you can check with Pop Culture's website for that particular figure. And Pop Culture is an Australian based website that does tend to get some exclusives, um, you know, exclusives from the U.S. basically. So, again, if you're outside of the U.S. and outside of Canada as well, because they don't ship to Canada either when it comes to certain exclusives. But if you're outside of the U.S. and Canada and you're looking for some exclusives, Exclusives, do make sure that you check with pop culture now if you are a pin collector do make sure that you check out both loungefly's website and amazon to see the selection of pins that they have because um funko just does not do reveals for a lot of these pins there's a lot a lot of awesome pins out there and pin sets that like i said they're just not really advertised very much so you kind of have to look around yourself um and if you really are into pins like i said there's a lot available on both amazon and loungefly's website of course they have the mini backpacks as well and i really like this freddy krueger mini backpack that you see here i think that one looks pretty awesome and i have seen that one listed on both amazon and loungefly's website 
and then I also do kind of like the um the, the Marvel gingerbread pin set there as well although some people don't like the price tag but it is a good number of pins there that you're getting for that price so you just got to decide whether it's worth it for you or not but again for pin collectors mini backpack collectors you have a lot to choose from do make sure you check out the selection now with Valentine's Day, Funko always does a little something and uh, you see here all the way to the left that they are going to have these um, Valentine hearts, you know, these uh, Valentine's Day boxes that do include pocket pops. They have a DC one and one based on the office as well. And you notice with the DC ones, of course, that they actually do have the pink coloring going on. And then with the office mystery minis, they're actually basically, I guess you could say, doing a re-release of them. And some of the figures will have um, pink coloring going on, of course, representing the holiday. I'm not really sure if they've done anything, any other changes beyond that. But um, yeah, that's something to be on the lookout for if you are interested. And then, of course, you see that they're taking the previously released Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse Valentine's figures and they are giving them the DIY treatment. Um, those, I think, are actually already showing up overseas and should be available here in the States pretty soon. If they're not released just yet, um, they should be available pretty soon. Now, with the Paka Paka figures, remember there are some Paka Paka figures that are actually the size of Pops. They've done this before with Boo Hollow already, and now they're doing it with this new line here, Villainous Valentines. So you see that there's going to be at least two characters, the lion and the raccoon. Um, I don't know if they're like exclusive to Hot Topic. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. It seems like they might actually be common figures because they are not stickered in any way. Of course, if I learn more about the release and if there's going to be more than just these two, um, you know, then I will share that with you. But um, I think they are interesting. I'm, I'm not completely sure <laughs> what, what Funko is going for with these, though, because, I mean, they're cutesy characters, you know, cutesy animals, but then they are holding weapons. That's why they're called villainous. Um, so the lion, is, you know, for example, is holding dynamite, and then the raccoon is holding an axe. So, again, I don't, I don't completely understand the thinking behind these. You know, just let me know what you think about these in general and whether or not you would go for these. And then, of course, you see here the Carl and, Ed, and Ellie, excuse me, Carl and Ellie with balloon cart, which is on the way. Um, we don't currently know the retailer uh, that it's going to be with here in the U.S. Of course, when I learn more, I will share that with you all. Um, I would not be surprised if it goes to either Pop in a Box or maybe Hot Topic or Box Lunch. But when I know for sure, of course, I am going to share that with you all. I feel like with Carl and Ellie, we're going to get at least one more two pack. I would be really surprised if Funko does not do them um, when they're older and they're sitting in their chairs next to each other. I could see that happening as well. So yeah, as far as, as Carl and Ellie are concerned, I think we're going to get at least one more two-pack or movie moment, whatever you want to refer to it as. And definitely let me know what you think about these Carl and Ellie movie moments in the two packs you know what do you think do you think that Funko is doing too much or are you happy with all of these you know just what are your general thoughts about Carl and Ellie from up now, if you are buying NFTs, um, just a quick reminder here to make sure that you keep up with the um, redemption periods for the physical pops. If you have got any NFTs that will allow you to exchange for a physical pop. Yeah, like I said, just kind of keep be aware of the dates. Um, I'm not going to read off the dates here, but you see them to the left, some upcoming dates to be mindful of. And of course, um, at the time of this recording, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um, time for redemption is just wrapping up. So like I said, just be on your toes and make sure that you are aware of the dates if you are going to redeem for any physical pops and there are some retailers that are actually already listing and trying to sell the physical pops but the prices are pretty insane so yeah that's up to you whether or not you think it's worth it to go for any of those physical pops on the second market or with these smaller retailers now, Funko did just reveal a new product, and these are called Popsies. It's basically Funko's version of greeting cards. And as a matter of fact, these are actually sold near the greeting cards and Walmart. They are Walmart exclusives, and some Walmarts actually have them already. I'm kind of surprised Funko didn't reveal these a little bit earlier to get out ahead of Christmas, but maybe they just couldn't get them out in time. And I'm saying that because, you know, since these are like greeting cards, some of them could be appropriate for holidays, but then some of them do work for birthdays, and just in general, to cheer people up as well and you notice that they do have a wide variety of characters of course to appeal to different tastes so 
you know this is not meant for hardcore collectors this is really meant to give these to friends and family now people can choose to collect them obviously you know you can choose to collect pretty much anything but um yeah I, I mainly view these as nice little gifts for friends and family including people that may not know anything at all about Funko you know this is a way to give them a Funko product that they might appreciate so I think it's a smart business move overall now in terms of the design I have mixed feelings about the eyes. I mean, the, the way that Funko has done the eyes here is that, and I don't know if they did this with all of the characters, but with a lot of the characters, it seems like they have something in their eyes that relates to them. So, for example, Freddy Fazbear, he has little slices of pizza in his eyes. Um, Big Boy has the burgers. Spider-Man, his eyes are actually webbing if you look really close. Batman has the bat symbol. So, I don't know. I think the eyes look a little bit odd, but, you know, some people don't like the pop eyes in general. You know, for you know regular Funko Pops, they don't like the solid black eyes that a lot of the figures have. So, yeah, it's just up to individual taste. Um, and that's one little th thing that I think... You know, it works with some figures, maybe not so much with others. But again, regardless, I am I, I'm definitely going to buy some of these for friends and family. I do think they're cute. Don't know if they're going to be around very long, but they can be nice little gifts, you know, for right now while they are available. And we'll see what happens with these in the future. Now, of course, I am a big fan of the sodas. I actually have been enjoying collecting sodas a lot more than Pops recently, and there are a lot more sodas on the way here. So you see, of course, that we have a Oompa Loompa on the way, and of course, all of these do have Chase variants. So the Oompa Loompa there, uh, we got Plastic Man, and I definitely think the Plastic Man Chase is way more interesting than his common. His common only kind of hints at his powers, whereas the Chase, you actually see what his power is. Uh, we also, of course, have Wacko there from Animaniacs. We have Silent Bob there. Um, we got Bluto, Bluto's Chase. Um, I'm glad that they actually did change the mouth sculpt at least. If it was just a, a black and white, that would have been kind of boring. So it is nice they changed his expression there. Um, Captain America, of course, a very classic looking Captain America. And you see the Chase, of course, it's him without his uh, mask or helmet, whatever you want to call it there. Um, basically him unmasked. Uh, the lemon head there, I think is cool. Uh, especially the glitter Chase, I think will be a nice one um, for people to get. And then um, Masters of the Universe, I've never heard of this character, Snout Spout. Um, at a glance, I mean, he almost looks like a character from Star Wars, especially with the um, the coloring of his outfit outfit there. He almost looks like a rebel pilot or something. Um, but uh, yeah, that's an interesting one. And of course, because it's Master of the Universe, I probably will go for that particular one. And then Entertainment Earth, they do have an exclusive Ariel soda, and it does have a Chase variant there. And of course, with that Chase variant, it appears that it's just like, um, you know, meant to represent water. Seems like it's a clear blue. Uh, probably would have been nice if they did some glitter with that. I can't tell if it does have glitter, but it doesn't appear to have it. Uh, but regardless, um, that one is available for pre-order. It's up for a March release. Now, with these other sodas, wherever you pre-order them from, make sure that you check the release dates. That is going to vary from retailer to retailer. Um, definitely want to hear what you think about these sodas. Which ones stand out to you? Are you going for any of these? Now, speaking of sodas, um, these sodas are going to sell out guaranteed. And I'm referring to the Black Light Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sodas. I don't know when they're going to release, but they do appear to be Funko.com exclusives, just like the Blacklight Alice in Wonderland soda set was. And it does seem like there's going to be um, at least, you know, at least one villain in the mix. We could see Bebop. More than likely, uh, Rocksteady would be a part of this as well. I don't know if Shredder or Splinter are going to be in the mix, but regardless, even if these are 10,000 piece count, and that's what they appear to be, at least the Turtles, um, I think regardless that these are going to sell very quickly. Um, don't know if they have Chase variants. Um, more than likely they probably will just like they did with the Alice in Wonderland set so yeah like I said I think these are going to move very quickly definitely want to hear your thoughts about them are you going to try to go for this set whenever it drops I would say I'll try to give you a heads up but more than likely these are going to appear just one random day on Funko.com and they will sell very quickly so be on your toes that's pretty much all I can say and then of course you see that Edward of course from Cowboy Bebop is on the way um, or really I should say already releasing it it's already released over Seas, and I'm, I'm assuming it will be here in the states very soon um, Edward does have a chase and the chase actually comes along with Ayn and um, they're not separate figures Ayn is actually kind of uh, molded together there with um, Edward but I do think that is a cool idea there for a chase so I, I can see myself going for this one and 
I would also go for any other Cowboy Bebop ones that Funko decides to do. Um, I know things didn't work out with the live action series. It really doesn't matter. I think the anime is still awesome. And I did get some fun out of the live action series. I know how some people felt about it, but I did enjoy some moments of it. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm a Cowboy Bebop fan, so I am looking forward to the sodas. Now, Beauty and the Beast, of course, has a full wave of figures that's on the way. Actually, some of these are actually already starting to show up in some stores, um, including overseas. So uh, do be on the lookout for these figures releasing soon. Um, you do see that there is a Funko.com exclusive in the mix, which does have a Chase variant. So whenever that drops, more than likely that's going to go um, pretty quickly. And of course, I'm referring to the exclusive there of Cogsworth. Um, yeah, I think that one's going to sell pretty fast. There is a, um, a Diamond variant of of beauty excuse me um from um amazon that's going to be available or bell i should say um that's an amazon exclusive and then uh some people have been asking you know where is this deluxe bell and the beast i still don't know um exactly when it's going to become available and it, because it's a common item i don't think it's going to release in all stores exactly at the same time funko doesn't tend to work that way all i can say is that it's coming soon if it hasn't shown up in stores just yet um, but overall i think these are some pretty good looking figures with some nice details to them and then to wrap things up here yes i am wrapping things up there's not going to be a rumor mill this time not necessarily although there's one rumored thing here but um some other upcoming exclusives include a flocked felix the cat and by the way with some of these i don't know where they're going to be we'll just have to wait and see what happens with them um also a glow in the dark phantom shadow of course from scooby-doo uh, this glow in the dark Eve from Wally. I would not be surprised if that ends up at box lunch, but you know, we'll see what happens with that. Um, Nelson from the Simpsons is on the way. That's pretty cool. And he's going to actually be an exclusive, which is kind of interesting, but, uh, I think that's going to be a popular one, even just for the sake of the meme. I think that's going to be a pretty popular one there. And then I've said it previously, and I'm going to say it again here. It does seem like Iron Man could potentially get some hall of armor pops on the way. You know, we'll have to wait and see if that actually pans out to be like a full line of figures. Um, I think it would be a smart move on Funko's part. There's so much more they can do with Iron Man. So I actually have my fingers crossed that that does pan out to be true. By the way, this image here, the Iron Man figure, the figures that you see there in the back, those are by a different company. There is a different company that has done some um, die cast uh, figures, Hall of Armor Iron Man figures. So yeah, I would not be surprised if Funko jumps on that boat as well. All right, y'all, that is going to do it for this edition of Funko News. I know there were not a lot of huge reveals, but of course, um, you know, like I've said before, Funko does consist of real people that are celebrating their time, you know, the holidays with family and friends as well. So I think that's why there have not been a ton of big um, reveals over the past couple weeks or so. But um, I think, you know, business will return to normal pretty soon here after the holidays. I hope you all, that you all are enjoying your holidays, you know, staying safe and yet having fun with your um, family and friends. Uh, definitely let me know what you've been up to especially in terms of collecting and some of the gifts you may have gotten and things like that um let me know what's going on with you basically i do look forward to reading the comments uh, if you haven't done so already please make sure that you drop a like on this video that's a very easy way to show support share this video if you think it's going to help out other collectors again thank you all so much for taking the time to check this out thank you all so much for your support throughout the year of 2021 i look forward to you know big things in 2022 and i will talk to you all again real soon